What's up, YouTube? It's PZZ Essien here. I've got a new Zippo video for you guys today. I, um, me and my family went, uh, just had like a family day out of town today. We went, you know, just out of town and we had a family day. And of course, I had to go and see if I could find any Zippos that I could find. And sure enough, I found one. So, I picked it up. Okay? And uh, I'm going to be showing it to you guys in this video. So, I got it from a place called Pipes Limited, or I guess Pipes LTD, um, that was in the mall, uh, over there, so, yeah, like, they, they give you these brown bags, so, some of you guys might recognize that. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what kind of Zippo it is. Ooh. Oop. <laughs> Ooh. That's an interesting color box. Oh, look at there. Yeah. This is, I guess you could say, the retail version of the 80th anniversary Zippo. Um, I would really like to own the one that's extremely limited, the one that they've only made like 10,000 of or something like that. Isn't that the number? I hope I will get one of those, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um... Yeah, that'll just we'll just have to wait and see on that. Anyway, um, so uh, if I can't, then I at least have this one, which is, you know, it's still I guess a limited. Oops, <laughs> it is still a limited edition, but um, you know, yeah, as you saw there, it's just a standard Zippo box. It's just got this custom lid on it. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you the back of this. My fingernails are starting to get a little long. Should cut those uh, maybe after this video. This is the model 28192 Zippo 80th Aniv. Okay, that's very interesting. So, yep, yeah, uh, Zippo 80th anniversary. You probably could assume it was something like that. But now I know the model number, so now you can look it up. It's got this custom box, which is uh, the first time I've ever seen um, the box for this particular Zippo. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Anyway, let's take, check it out, all right? Some of you already know what this looks like, but for those of you who are not into Zippos, this will be completely new to you, so... Although, I might have a picture of it in the thumbnail. Anyway, there it is. You can see it's 80th Anniversary Edition. Alright. <clears throat> it's $30, 29 Let's pop it out. It says back here... Let me, let me maybe macro it a little better. Certificate of Authenticity. This commemorate... Commemorate... Commemorative... Com okay. Commemorative Lighter. <laughs> Um, celebrates Zippo's 80th anniversary uh, year. Zippo's color imaging process showcases the 80th anniversary logo on herringbone on a herringbone sweep, a chevron pattern brushed chrome finish. This anniversary edition is packaged in an eco-friendly box with custom lid and display card, and is patented. See back. All right. So, that's that, and here is the Zippo, alright, check that out. So, again, like I said, $29.95, this Zippo, I will be peeling the back sticker off of, okay, but if and whenever I get the, uh, the one that's super duper limited, that will probably be the first one I actually do not take the sticker off of, just because of how collectible it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and, um... I don't want to do. I'm gonna put the price sticker on the front. All right, so let's get that off. Mm-hmm. And put that right there. All right, that's pretty much on the very edge. All right, and. Let's see, I'm actually going to take this out. Do what I did last time. Get this. Which is... Got all the patents and such on the back. And we're going to peel this off. Where's my goo gone at? What if I should use the goo gone on something that's silk screen? I don't know if that... Would that hurt it? Alright, I'm going to peel it off slowly then, because I don't even know where my goo gone is. Uh, actually, it's coming right up. Mm. 
Very nice and smooth. Okay, so... There's that sticker uh, shadow on the uh, Zippo. Very, very... Ah! Uh, I actually find there's more resistance doing that than there was actually peeling it off of the actual Zippo. <laughs> Look at that. There's sort of sticker shadow on there. Let me see if we can... That'll, that'll go away eventually. Alright! Now we can check this out. Alright, so let's put this back in here. Oops, I might have put that in upside down. <sighs> okay. Um, well. Yeah, it goes in this way. Um. Still has the standard warranty pamphlet. Um, I think this is what they meant by display card. I actually was looking back here to see if there was a card back there, but there's not. They're talking about this thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and set this box off to the side. Very nice gradient on there. I'll set that over here. Let's check out this new Zippo. So there is the uh, the design. It's macro in. So you can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, it says 80th anniversary in that sort of writing. Uh, Zippo 19, 1932 through 2012. And you can see how it's kind of like a brushed chrome like that. Now here is a standard brushed chrome for comparison. You can see how it just goes straight across, but this one's kind of like in a V. So the way I assume that they uh, make these, or how they do that finish, is they run it over the um, brusher. They run it over the wheel like this at an angle, and it just goes like that, you know, kind of in this direction. And then when you have it closed, it then, you know, looks like that. All right. Which is pretty cool. I think that's what they do. Because if you open it like this, you'll see how it goes in the same direction. So, yeah, I think that's what they do. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Let's see when this one was made. Oh, I also want to show you something else. It, unlike this one, which has a high polished chrome finish on the sides. Let me wipe it off so you can better see that. It has that very high polish. You can see the camera. You know, very, very shiny, high polish. This one, and you probably already caught a glimpse of it, has that finish. And I don't know what it is. I've never heard of it before. It's not street chrome. It's kind of like a speckled kind of finish. It's weird. Um, like, lightly, it's like a very minimal, I want to say, satin finish. It's not like, you know, the full-on satin chrome finish. It's kind of like, it. it's like in the first stages of becoming satin. I don't know how to explain it. But, I mean, you guys can clearly see that and tell. And that goes all the way around it. There's the lid. Back here. And even on the bottom stamp, it's got that same finish. Speaking of bottom stamp, let's see when this is made. You can see that this is made in K of 11, so December of last year. I don't know when they started making these, if anyone could tell me, but regardless, this is probably one of the first ones ever made, because I'd imagine probably the earliest they would start producing these would be in maybe o or, um, November, maybe even October, I don't know, but this is in K of 11, so December of last year. Alright, let's see this insert, standard insert. I believe the um, the armor version, the uh, very the you know the limited limited edition one, the one that's actually numbered is um, I believe has a gold insert, which is interesting. Let's see if I can pull this out. This one was made in K of eleven. It still has that red tech or that black text on the bottom. All right, Zippo made in USA. Nothing special. Not even a different style. Um, bottom stamp, like one would probably expect, I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't plan on using this, so let me go ahead and retrieve my flint. Um, so, let's go ahead and retrieve my flint out of here. This is a different Zippo. Let's do that real quick. Man, this is a, a stiff screw. Oh, that has got a really strong spring. Better get ready. I don't know. Interesting. So there's our... Whoa! 
Ah, I thought I dropped it, but I didn't. Um, here's our flint. So let's put that away. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna grab my dispenser, which is over here. Also gonna grab this. Which is a bottle of fluid, because I was wanting to show you it. Alright, so Woo! Oh, oh. There we are. It's in there with my uh, ones that I got from the Zipper Repair Service. Okay, now this thing here, this is a 80th anniversary Zippa bottle. You recognize, you see that? It's got the same logo. So, very nice, very nice pair. As you can probably tell. Very nice. So, I don't really know if anything else. Oops, need to put this back together. Why do I forget to do that? <laughs> also, my foot's falling asleep, which is not a fun feeling. Yeah, on. Yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, I don't know if anything else really to talk about this. My foot is really falling asleep. Man, I better sit differently. Other than it's pretty cool. Looking, hey, hey, no, it's a nice uh, Zippo. Let's listen to it. Has a good sound. Sounds like, again, it sounds a lot different than any of my other Zippos. So, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I do like that herringbone finish. They had another one in there. That was just this herringbone finish, but it was plain. I've mentioned that Zippo actually before. Um, I just mentioned how I liked it when I was doing my Blueberry Matte Zippo, actually. Ooh, look at that. There you guys get a good idea of what the finish is like. You see how it's like that? Yeah. Whereas on this one, if I were to do that, you get just a line, even like this. So, yeah, anyways. Valley, valley, nice. I like it a lot. Um, actually would make a nice user, but since it is, you know, I guess, I do want to say this is a limited edition. I don't, I don't know. Is this a limited edition, or are they going to make these for the next five years, or what? You know, until the 85th anniversary occurs? I have never seen a 75th anniversary Zippo, or even a 70th anniversary Zippo. I don't know at all what they look like. So, I don't know. Or is this going to be the only year that they produce them? I don't know. I guess if they're going to produce, I don't know. But it's pretty cool, though. Do definitely like that. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Alright, guys, I'm going to go ahead and kill the video here. Um, that's that. Thank you all for watching.